Uh, I'm Dr. C.S. Uh, Ranawat. I'm demonstrating surgical technique for correction of a valgus deformity. Uh, this is done without tunicae. Patient uh, knees flex to 100 degrees uh, under hypotensive anesthesia. A long median parapolar incision is made from the uh, tibial tubercle to two finger above the patella. After you do the arthrotomy, uh, leaving about a centimeter cuff medially for suture of the quad tendon. You detach both posterior and anterior cruciate ligament. I am showing here detachment of the posterior cruciate and I uh, have done the lateral meniscectomy. Identify the plane of posterior cruciate ligament uh, uh, in the lateral side of the middle spine and that is how you apply your tibial cutting guide. The tibial cutting guide uh, is in the middle of the ankle and slightly away from the tibia to give two, so two to three degrees of posterior slope in the tibial cut. You detach the soft tissue from the posterior side and this is important. You mark the cut surface of the lateral tibial plateau. You put a appropriate size tibial plateau which matches that dimension and I reduce the medial side uh, equal to the lateral side as the tibial component is symmetrical. Then you measure the patella and uh, I replace uh, as much bone as is the thickness uh, of the implant so that you do not over stuff. Also uh, remove all the uh, loose uh, synovium and soft tissue around the patella. I do not use any jig, I cut the patella freehand. You make the, you identify the boundaries of the patella and you draw a, a vertical line which is the median ridge and the two holes of the anatomic patella should lie on that line or ridge and then you uh, have a trial component. And then you measure the overall construct. Uh, it should be equal to what you started. Then you identify the uh, location of the uh, drill hole for the femur, which is at the junction of the trochlear surface to the tibiofemoral surface. You cut distal femur in valgus knee at 3 degrees. Like in varus, you cut at 5 degrees. Here we cut 3 degrees. To, to correct more effectively the valgus deformity because part of the deformity is in the femur due to remodeling. You put a spacer block of after you cut the tibia in the distal femur and test for the soft tissue stability in extension. Uh, uh, in the valgus knee, I relieve the posterior cruciate ligament and posterior lateral capsule in extension at the level of the tibial cut surface and then with the knife I do uh, pie crusting of the IT band. After you have done the release the knee should open in extension equal amount both laterally and medially that is about 2 to 3 millimeter. Apply the femoral sizer and size the femur correctly. Uh, you whatever the si size you assess put that block and uh, make it sure that you are not going to notch it and the gap should be equal to 18 to 20 millimeter and the po posterior condylar cut I do it parallel to the tibial cut and to do that I adjust which I am showing here adjustment a few millimeter either medial or lateral or both side and the gap should be 18 to 20 millimeter and then you test it with the block. Once you are satisfied that your balance is good then you cut the trochlear surface, uh, the chamfer cut and the posterior condylar cut. And the posterior 
शिव प्रकाश then you uh, test whether you cut are appropriate with a and then you put the box cutter uh, as laterally as possible and remove the intercondylar uh, bone and any osteophyte on either side i'm removing the posterior osteophyte and to do that i apply a laminar spreader then i put a trial uh, component on the tibial side you put the appropriate size tibia then you mesh to the cortex of the cut surface after you put the trial component you test for the stability in extension it should open 2 to 3 mm on both side if it doesn't open equally both side you have not release it properly cementation you should apply cement on the bone after you cleaned it with a water lavage and same thing on the femur on both surfaces and impact it then on the patella and after you put it extend the knee and uh, then release the tourniquet so the only part of the operation which is done in a tourniquet is cementation.